Got it.
Test. We just seen something that just blew my mind. Mine too. Uh, yours too. Yeah. Now this was produced by who? Well, <coughs> this is I only realized the work, but it was it's a Croatian artist, and uh, she made this piece and she wrote me a letter <coughs> and she sent me a videotape and I was just blown over. So I said. We'll do it at, at Watermill, and Jenny Holzer wrote these texts over here, like on the big wall. And yes. There was supposed to be a Times Square, and they they wouldn't allow it because it was, you know, too political, anti-Trump. Oh, I said, we'll, we'll do it at Watermill. Absolutely at Watermill. So right? great to be back. Tell again. us, tell us about uh, Fly Into the Sun. Now that's the theme this year, 2017, the Watermill. Well, Center. that's that's Lou Reed. Lou. Ah. So. Right. Uh, that's his title, and. Who was a dear friend. We did three major works in the theaters together, and 20 years ago, he and Laurie Anderson performed here. Uh, I remember. I have it on tape. <laughs> so at the time, it's no longer tape now. <laughs> Everything's a chip. <laughs> okay. Or now the words change, right? But uh, as always, thank you, Robert Wilson. Thank you for thank you. being here. Okay. Here is Simon Dupree, folks. Uh, Simon, tell us, this is your theme. Uh, fly into the sun, talk about it. The theme of the Oh, the Center. theme. I must say that <laughs> I don't even know about the theme tonight. I just arrived. I've just been going around and looking at everything. What and, are your uh, impressions of the little girl in the room that looks like a coal miner's daughter? Is she, she's got this hat on her head, and it's a separate performance. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Yes, uh, uh, you know, some of the things you see here are so gripping and uh, can be quite disturbing, and, and that's what uh, great art, uh, you know, is. Great art, is, uh, great art. <laughs> that's right. That's right. When you look at, uh, at, at art. So, but it really. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's really something. So, tell me some of the interesting things that are for auction tonight. Yeah, so, would so be there good. is a great uh, Jenny Holzer ah. uh, that is going to be sold tonight. Also, wonderful work by Joseph Kossus. Wow. And um, so, as every year, some really good well, artists donate wonderful works. Well, there's a big painting being done in progress as we speak behind me. Yes, and, I, uh, I, I saw it. And dress code be damned. <laughs> well, a beautiful lady beautiful. Uh, doing this work. Right. And uh, so, when you it's come. It's going to hang up on half the building. It's huge by the time you get done. Well, the great thing about a watermill, it's always a great happening, and you have uh, artists from all disciplines, all countries, all different areas working together, and that's what's so stimulating about what As you Robert know, I've been doing does. this for 22 years. This is my 23rd year doing it, filming the, filming the Watermill Center. Well, and I'm some of the stuff, myself. I mean, I filmed Maria Abramovich in the nude red. Mm -hmm. One day I will ask her what it means. Well, <laughs> she has a beautiful body, first of all. Absolutely, she's <laughs> and amazing. And, and then so, Andre, with his incredible performance, that was in the middle here before the building was finished in red, the letter yes. of red. Amazing stuff, folks. It's just, uh, and he's the best, the best auctioneer there is, for my money. <laughs> Thank well, you so much, Simon. Lovely to be here. It's so great to see you. No, no, yes, yes. It's a video. No, you stay, stay with her. Stay with her. Stay with her. You can only, you know, in that moment of time in the show. You know what the theme is, Vera? A what? The theme tonight. What's tonight's theme? Fly mm -hmm. to the sky. Fly fly into, I don't sun. know. Fly into the sun. Fly oh, into I the always sun. do it. I didn't now, know there, it was What do you theme. think? I just filmed the little girl in red in that little room. Yeah. With the cap on and like, yeah, she yeah, looks yeah. like a miner. Yeah, and yeah, what do yeah. you think? I think it was very uh, a strong. Strong. Very strong 
And to me, it seems like she was desperate to get out. And as we know, there were many miners and people that got trapped. Destroyed. To, and then she represented that being trapped under yeah. the earth. Yeah. Scary. And scary. very scary. And she did such a great job. Amazing. You really get a goose uh, feet. Independent on? artist, I'm told, by Robert Wilson. I, I interviewed him uh, while I've been. Before. I've been to every one of his parties to support him. Yeah, yeah. He has amazing artists, amazing vision. And it's in our neighborhood. Do you remember? What more can we no, ask? No. Do you remember Mayor Vramovich performing in red in the nude? Do you remember? Oh, sure. I have that. I have that on tape. Oh sure. And we're oh, going to sure. preview that, folks. Oh sure. You know, just so you but know, because David's been doing it for thirty years. It's amazing to be here, year after year, and I'm always, always, always surprised. It's always exciting. What it's is it? It's always a new. What is it? It's it's his vision. It's his uh, excitement. It's his artistic. Right? View right? and it's a creation. So he go. makes things. The revolution really. of art. To vote for a party, a political party, is is stupid because it's nostalgic. We've we had all these parties: SPD, CDU, Democrats, Republicans. We all had this in the past. We have to give the power, our power, to something that has never ruled the world before. We should ask Caligula and Nero, who played this game before, and there they were very close to the dictatorship of art, but nobody understood it. And now we have to understand that this is our duty, to be humble and to give our power to the revolution and the dictatorship of art. And then it will happen. Yeah. No human being should rule the world. No political party that is um, ruled by any human being should be in power. No. No grab. So says Jonathan Mesa. Okay. Remember Jonathan so, Mesa? Yeah. Oh my so God. So he's a part of that. He's yeah, yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. making it happen. And I'm so happy to be a part of that in our neighborhood. In our neighborhood, in the Hamptons. Yeah. There in we the go. Hamptons, in our neighborhood. All right. And God bless Robert Bob Wilson. Wilson. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>
How are you? Hi. How are you doing? You're here for the 2017 Fly Into the Sun Watermill Center again. You're still here. You're beautiful. Hi. I love your belly. Oh, thank you. This is a this is a belt buckle that's 50 years old. <laughs> okay. It's good and good. I love this big sign. Yes, it's very interesting. Outwits, outlives. Great. Maybe we can outlive the current administration. <laughs> what are the new plans? I wonder. But what do you think about fly into the sun? Doing what? Fly into the sun, that's a the theme. Oh yeah. We need some sun. <laughs> so, our Corey Hay. David's finally doing the interviews himself. Why, why, why not? Well, we miss Kevin Berlin a little bit. We do, uh, we do. Here we are again at the Watermill Center. Robert Wilson has outdone himself, and we say that every year, and we yet, say it every wow. Something else. I mean, the Something whole else, right, carnival sideshow with the individual little tents. With do you know last in. year I, I, I noted what you said about Bill Cunningham? Who's not here? Uh, Bill, and I showed a picture of Bill taking a picture. And we miss Bill. We, we do. We miss Bill because... He had an eye, and he, he could capture the people that go. Everybody here goes to a lot of effort. This year, the dress code is dark, shiny matter, and you see a lot of that. So and our theme this year is fly into the sun. What do you think? I, I, I flew. Are we going to fly? What I really liked was there are kids here, and I saw a little Fox Platt. I saw kids who are like six, seven, eight, nine years old picking up a spray gun, painting the wall. <laughs> it's so cool there you that go. this interactive art experience at the Watermill Center um, really can go from well, six years old <laughs> to like 90 years 90, old. 90, exactly. Not that you're nothing, 90. Nothing, nothing is, and, and you've been everything's accepted. Time. 23 been, years. So, and, and is this bigger, better than ever, or am I imagining? How about that sign behind us here? Yeah. Whoa, smoking. Yeah, she outwits him and she outlives him. You think she does? She Probably might. true. She Probably might. true. I, just, I always say, if you can only go out once in the Hamptons, we go to Robert Wilson. Go to Robert Wilson's Watermill Center Gala. And it's great because you can buy the cocktail ticket, which is, I think, $500. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As opposed to, like, the big $10,000 or $50,000 table. And you are never going to be more engaged, and you leave a changed person. Changed. What do you think? I mean, absolutely. Huh? Absolutely. So, live from the Watermill Center. Here we I'm are. Corey reporting. Corey Hearn. Thank you. Thank you, Corey. Handshake for TV. Thank you. Thanks. Starting to take the art down now to go into the auction. Go into the auction. I don't know who this is, but it's a funny face. We'll have a look at it. <laughs> the lights. Anyway, it's kind of a funny face. Why 